Hey everyone and welcome to Wicode, where in this video we're going to learn how to serve up a single page application with Nginx. So to understand how to serve up a single page app with Nginx, we first need to understand what an SPA or single page application is. So an SPA is a web app that consists of only a single web document, usually an index HTML file, and some other assets such as a JavaScript file, images, fonts, things like that. For example, if we look right here, this is typically the structure of a single page app when it's been bundled. So dist stands for distribution, and this is everything we need to recreate this app. So we have the index.html file, we have the bundled JavaScript code, which could be bundled React or Angular code, we have the styling, and we have, say, some assets such as an image. And so the way a single page application works is the body of the index.html document is changed by using JavaScript. So back in this bundle, this index.html file, the HTML will be changed by this JavaScript. Therefore, unlike multiple page applications, requests to multiple routes should return the same HTML document. For example, requests to dash about, like right here, should return an index.html file, or whatever your HTML document is called. A get request to dash contact should return the index.html file, and things like that. The contents of the HTML file will then be changed using JavaScript. This is different than in a multi-page app where, like right here, request to dash about would return about.html, or request to dash contact would return contact.html, and things like that. And so when it comes to Nginx, this means that we need to configure Nginx to return the single page application HTML file on each route. Of course, unless another document exists at that route, but we can do this using the try files directive. So here I have a simple Nginx configuration file where the most interesting part is we have an HTTP context and an HTTP server listening on port 80 that is serving up HTML from this location. And a common way to handle requests to this HTTP server is to use the try files directive. So this one right here. So what this try files directive does is it tries to return the path specified in relation to the root directive. So in this case, our root directive is dash user share nginx HTML. So when a request comes in, we're gonna try and find a file name within this location. So as a demonstration, a request to dash about would look for something here. So user share nginx HTML about. A request to dash contact would look for a contact file within here, and so on. However, we have nginx configured here so that if the file doesn't exist, so if we don't have a contact file within this directory, we will just return this index.html file, which of course will be the single page application. So specifically, this try files directive checks the existence of the provided files in the specified order and uses the first found file to process the request. So the way we have it set up here is that the index.html file will always be returned if the requested URI does not exist. So to demonstrate this, if we look up here, the way I have Nginx set up is we have an access log that will print the time and then the request. And let's also change it so that it also provides the URI. So now, when we send requests to our Nginx server, we can see what's being returned by each route. And to demonstrate this, I have a simple HTML file right here that we can just pretend is a single page app, like a React app, something like that. And we'll see how it's served up on each route by using this try files directive. So Nginx is running on port 1234. So if we make a curl here, we can see we get this R single page app. If we make a curl to say a random route like this, we also get our single page app. So no matter what route we send a request to, we can see we're always being returned our index.html file. So these are the access logs being printed out right here. A get request to the root returns index.html. A get request to this jargon right here returns the index.html file, and so on. But so that's really all it takes to serve up an SPA with Nginx. Just make sure you're using this trap files directive with a fallback to this index.html file. So. But that's really it. So if you like this video, please consider downloading my Chrome extension called Witceptor. Link in the description. Give me a good review on the Chrome web store. But besides that, thank you for liking and subscribing and see you in the next one. Have a good one.